Hi guys, and welcome back to my... <laughs> I can't speak. Hello guys and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm heading to a car boot sale. There's a car boot sale just up the road from us. I've never been and I'm desperate to go, uh, especially as we're gonna be moving, I'll probably not really be able to go to it again. What it's made me think is, I should do a car boot sale at some point. We've got so much stuff in the house, things that I've upcycled, thrifted, and then never really used in the house, just because I'm a sucker for anything cute in a charity shop. I usually use stuff like that for other projects that I do, but I just haven't had enough projects recently to get rid of all of that stuff. Just an update on the house. Um, me and Rob have spent the last two days going through all the forms. We've pretty much got them all sorted now. How was the form filling out? Was it really exciting? Yeah. Best thing that you've ever done, spent your Friday and Saturday night on? So, so happy and pleased to have done that. <laughs> Just to be honest, I am happy and pleased it's done though, because it means things are kicking off. So we're not holding anything back, um, like the chain and the timings and stuff. We can kind of just like push everything through. I'll keep you updated, of course, of course. was mediocre at I, best. I might even go as far as to say it was terrible. Terrible? That's a very just, strong choice of words. It was just a load of absolute shit. <laughs> it was, to be fair. Honestly, it was. It actually was. I don't know what I was expecting. When I've been to, I've, I think I've only been to a handful of car boots and I had one when I was like 12 with some friends. And I just remember it being so much more busy, but maybe the art of car boot sailing has died a little bit because there was really not a lot of people there. At all. I mean, to be fair, I, I think it was busier than I expected it to be. Like more cars and people. But, yeah. Like honestly. But the stuff that was there as well was like. If you challenged me to spend even fifty pence on something that was reasonable, I couldn't. I, I need to. I need to be real. I saw two frames that I would have just crumbled for, but they were hundred pounds. She said they were new. One of them was severely chipped on the corner, um, which I could have fixed. That's fine, but. I don't know, £100 at a car boot sale? They were massive though, they Honestly, were gorgeous frames. I could have bought that entire car boot sale for £100. Yeah. A lot of it is, um, but it's a bit of fun, isn't it? There were some like old ladies sitting there with a like cuppa in the sun on their little chairs, just having a natter. They're like families brought their kids along to do their car boot sale. It's just a little bit of fun. Anyway, the car boot sale was, I'm going to say a fail because I didn't buy anything. I brought thirty, I brought forty quid with me. I thought I was going to buy some stuff. So it's Monday, and I'm currently packing. Oh my god, it's taken me all morning. I should have done this yesterday, but I've kind of got it sorted. I've packed. So basically. I'm going back down to my mum and dad's for like two weeks to do their bathroom downstairs loo and then hopefully their utility room as well. I should be going to Paris. I've got a day of filming and I'm also, I have like some birthdays and stuff to go to. So I needed to pack quite a lot of clothes and I bought these travel, uh, what do you call these? Like travel bag things. What are they called again? Suitcase cubes packing cubes that's it i bought these packing cubes a couple of weeks ago before i went to vegas and i use them for vegas and Parma. and then when i go down back home it's just such a lifesaver so basically in here i've got some skincare and bits for a friend because i know that she'll love them i've got all of my uh day-to-day -day things in here like tooth 
toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, wipes and stuff. In here I've got underwear. In this one I've got socks. This is, I think, PJs and loungewear. Then I've got tops, more tops, and then trousers and jeans. I've got my handbag that I like to take shopping. And then I've got some loose clothes because they didn't fit in a packing cube, but they're fine because they're just shirts. So they can sit there. I've got a pair of trainers that I want to keep clean, so I've put them in the dust bag. And then I've got some more toiletry bits, and like my skincare and that time of the month stuff. And then my makeup's down there with my brushes. And then in this, I've got loose bits. So I've got my straighteners, some brushes, some gel, my electric toothpaste, my passport because she's going to Paris. And then I've got this boots bag, which um, I got from the airport when I I went to Parma but it turns out it's a really nice shape because it's got a cardboard bit at the bottom which keeps it flat so when I'm at mum and dad I just use that as a temporary wash basket and I just throw in all my dirty clothes in there and then I take it downstairs and give it a wash I'm lying mum definitely does that for me bless her but it's just a good way to keep all of my dirty clothes separate from my clean clothes when I'm when I'm traveling so that's my suitcase I've brought this suitcase which is empty because this is the one that I'm going to be bringing down when I do my filming and when I go to Paris fingers crossed that that's happening and then um, I've got my day-to-day -day handbag which I always take with me everywhere this is such an investment if you watch my Palmer vlog last year you'll remember when I bought this and I was saying like it was such an expensive thing I don't know if I should have bought it but I have used the life out of this and it's still absolutely amazing I use it literally every single day everywhere I travel it holds my laptop I've got an organizer in here as well so this doesn't come with the bag this like beige one that you can see I got this from Amazon for about 40 pounds and the reason that I paid that much for this one is because it has so many different compartments which I always use it's got zip bits and loads of um like pockets and stuff I can fit stuff down the side as well so I've got my book laptop some equipment that I use to do filming loads of electronics down there I've got some bills from HMRC <laughs> I've got jewelry in there and then I've got um some hand sanitizer you know bits and bobs and then I'm bringing this as my handbag that I'm going to be using when I'm down there I've got a stain on it here I don't know how that's happened but I need to see if I can find a way to clean that um, and then I've got my water bottle because if I don't have a water bottle to hand I will forget to drink water so I've been spending all morning packing that and I feel like I've done such a good job of packing I feel like I'm getting packing down to a T with the amount that I've been traveling recently I just know what to bring and what not to bring and then something else that's really handy is Revolution didn't even know that they knew who I was but Revolution Skincare have sent me this box I must admit I've never used Revolution Skincare I've always used their uh, makeup products though their highlighter is one that I've used for probably like four years now since it first came out because everyone used to rave about it being like a much cheaper dupe of the shape what is it Tarte Shape Tape and I've still used that since. They've got a skincare line, which I actually haven't used, but it looks really good. It's quite comparable to the ordinary stuff, the stuff that they have. And I'm a big fan of the ordinary. So I'll have to try that once I start running out of products. They've sent me this. Beauty begins from within. And it's vitamins. You are probably like me in the sense that you are always thinking, I need to get on top of my vitamins. It's the reason that I don't feel 100% all the time. I feel sluggish and tired and like my energy's low. Rob actually buys himself multivitamins. He uses an apple cider vinegar one for gut health, which he like swears by. And then he also has multivitamins for the day, which he takes. And they're the jelly form. Um, when I've bought them in the past, they're usually a tablet form and they're usually quite like fishy to taste or they're a bit like, oh sort of thing whereas he buys the little sweets and when he has one if he remembers he gives me one and it's kind of like it's like when you've like given a kid them and you give them the gummy sweets but it just makes you want to take them in a way anyway when i open this i thought they were tablets but upon opening they're all gummy sweets as well they're low sugar a lot of them are gluten free and vegan friendly uh i've got collagen tablets skin vitamins collagen support which i don't know how that's different i need to do some research hair gummies immunity tablets balance tablets energy and beauty tablets uh like the fizzies you know like the what's that brand barocca you know when you put it in a drink and then drink it balance immunity energy and beauty 10 of each of those I've got hair gummies here I'm taking them for about three days now i actually remember to have them every single day partially because they're just on my office floor but i'm hoping that i'll remember to, to keep on top of them and normal collagen and i'll give you these ones look like fruit fruit pastels no round trees 
fruit pastels, but the ones without the sugar. And then these ones look like the ones with the sugar. <laughs> these ones are tasty, these are the skin ones. The fizzies are five pounds, six dollars or six euros. And then the capsules are, like the tablets, the jellies are 15 pounds, 18 dollars or 17 euros. You get 60 in each of them, apart from the hair gummies you get 30 so but that's one to two months worth for each one so seven quid 15 quid to help your hair and your skin and your energy levels and all that i don't think that's a bad shout i said i've been buying some random stuff from amazon i've recently bought that travel sized perfume thing which i filled up today so easy you literally just like put it on the nozzle pump it down a couple of times and then fill it up to how much you want it so i've got that travel size now which is great and then i've also bought the shoe boxes if you can see them behind me there so they're my new shoe boxes that i've bought that's my phone i'm filming this for instagram they're my new shoe boxes that i've bought and life-changing so all of my shoes i can see them i can organize them they look quite nice in there and i've left one of them unboxed so that i can show you guys how to do it i'm hoping that i can um get this oh it's not even recording this is the front and this is the door which is on like magnetic strips like that so you take that you put it you just lay it down and then you take the box which is made of like a strong plastic it's kind of a it's kind of got like a it's not exactly clear it's kind of a little bit opaque pop the tabs over and then you clip it all in so you this bit is this bit is a little bit difficult i can't lie it's infuriating the first time that you try and do it you'll be like what the frick is this but once you get the hang of it you'll be like okay there's a little bit of pizzazz to this which i've clearly forgotten because i've done this about three weeks ago <laughs> but there is a little bit of pizzazz once you've got it down it's super easy make sure that tabs hold it down and then you'll hear it all clicking in place the bottom section and it's perforated so it lets out any odd scents and stuff and you essentially just do the same thing this bit's a little bit more tricky but that's why you put the bit with the door in first so you can lift you can see but you can lift lift the lid up and get your hand in to kind of mess on with it because it is a little bit annoying i can't lie but again once it's in it kind of straightens itself like that lovely and then we've got our lovely shoe box and then it's got these little noggins underneath which you click and collect click and collect you click and connect into place you slot them on so they're sturdy And then that's it so we've got my trainers typically live in this side but i've taken a couple um downstairs and my heels typically live in this side so now i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i'm pretty sure i bought 12 of these for around 30 quid which is one of the cheaper ones that you can find on amazon i know there's a slightly nicer box which is bigger but that's super expensive you get like three for 30 quid so it just depends what your budget is and how many shoes you have i suppose my garage i'm gonna show you i'll just show you when i go to open it but it's a joke it's an actual joke there's no way that you can get in there it's like piled up to the front with stuff but i need to move rob's car so that i can get into the garage pull all the stuff that's in there just onto the driveway and then i need to be able to go in and find certain tools that i'm going to need to do these upcoming projects anyway i need to fill the car it's going to cost a bomb to get down back home this time because petrol is nearly two pounds per litre it's like one 192 in the petrol station near me oh so it's gonna be an expensive trip i'm gonna have to put it into eco mode and drive down at a nice a nice pace but it's a nice day so
someone new Don't make me lose my mind Seems like I've been here before Baby, I can't take no more Of you trying to play me out, baby I'm currently in Wix, so I've decided to change the downstairs loop project. We're gonna go for these. These are what are these called? MDF beaded panel, and um, but you can get them primed or like this. This is moisture resistant board anyway, so it's. I think it's okay to use in. I think it's moisture resistant already, um, but I used it in Rob's ensuite and it gave a fantastic look. And I just thought, you know what, I'm going to make my life easy because I don't think the other idea that I had is going to work in the end. Whereas this one should be quick and easy and give a really nice effect. So, I'm going to grab like six of these, I think, around six or seven maybe. Maybe I'll get seven just to be sure. It's a really small room, but. I think like seven, I'll get seven. This is it, six mil thick, 120, no. 1.2 meters by 0.6 meters, four foot by two foot. And then this side's smooth, this is the side that you stick. And then the other side's got this bead in detail. So these ones are 22 quid and you get a 1.2 meter by 0.6 meter wide board. The primed ones that they have in this store are 33 quid, but they're um, slightly taller. So if you're doing like, I don't know, a taller room or a look that you, you need more board for, then that's better, but it's so expensive. When I paid for these last year, they were 18 quid, I'm sure. So I'm spending nearly 200 quid on these. <laughs> Yikes. And then I'm gonna take them home and prime them up before, I think I'll prime them before they're on the wall, I'm not sure. But anyway, to top it off as well, I need to get a nice decorative bead in, so let's go to that section. Okay, so we're looking for something that we can sit on top. See the thickness of these, they're six mil. So we need something that's got a slight lip to it so that we can, like this, so we can cover it. But I want a really pretty one, like maybe like this. This is pretty. I have a feeling this is the one that I actually used in my bathroom anyway. When I did the loop, when I did the ensuite makeover, I'm pretty sure I used this one anyway. And it looks nice. I wanted something a bit more grand, but they don't have anything bigger than that in this store. Mm. I've just got like, this is bigger, but it's just flat. Which is a bit boring, isn't it? I think we'll probably go with this. There was probably a reason why I picked this last time. It's probably the only one they've got available. So these are two meters. Let's pick up three of these. If we need another one, I can come back. But, oh, that one's moldy. But three of these should be good. When you're picking these out, make sure they're not split. There's often like a long split down there, which is, you can glue it up and it's fine. Oh, these are moldy. What's going on here? Right. Sat somewhere they shouldn't have been. Okay, I'm gonna try and find some non-moldy ones to see if we can. They were all moldy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go tell them just so that they know in case there's like some moisture um, happening at the back of that because they're gonna lose all their stock. Like no one's gonna buy that. Um, I mean, it's just wood. I know that I can just kind of clean it down, prime it, it'll be fine, but don't really have to, I don't really want to go to that, all that fuss. I'm trying to look for the wallpaper section. I need wallpaper paste and brushes so that when it comes to putting the wallpaper up, I've just got it. Cause I also have to do another trip. Okay, I'm gonna grab this, mix it up in a bucket and grab a paste brush. And I forgot my roller, so I'm gonna grab one of these as well. And we should be all good.
so we have got the beaded mdf beaded non-primed boards from wix they were 22 pounds each i'm gonna go to b and q up the road because the um wood moldings that's very the wood moldings that they had were actually moldy <laughs> i don't know why they're called oh they're called moldings because like they're shaped into a certain mold back in the day but um yeah they actually had mold on them like black moisture mold it looked like so i wasn't able to pick those up b and q is the other side of here but as in a, like a five minute drive away but i'm next to two charity shops right now and i think it would be rude if i didn't go in i'm up early it's 10 o'clock in the morning so i'm already out and about i've got more than enough time so let's go to the charity shop <laughs> i'm addicted someone get me help Cheers. Oh, I like that girl at the window. She just said to me, like, I would suggest the oat, no, the, oh my God, I've forgotten what I ordered. <laughs> I was ordering one of the new velvet iced coffees that they've got at Costa. So my friend said it was really good as well. Um, and the girl said to me, I'll have to ask her, but I'm sure she said the coconut and oat or something was really good. So I've ordered that one. Um, just went into the charity shops, nothing to report. I can't lie, there was basically nothing. Just put some hand sanitizer on. Oh my God, I've just thought, do I need to do a COVID test before I go to Paris? I mean, I don't have COVID, but I haven't sorted anything out. Like, do I need an antigen test? Who knows? Hey there, got the hey. ice latte. Yeah. Do you have a No. Okay, it's four pounds Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. 
So this is the vanilla and coconut iced coffee. Looks like this. That looks good. Okay, let's do a taste test. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting it to just taste like sugar, but it actually tastes like coffee. Like a really strong coffee. Maybe I need to mix it. I can't taste vanilla or coconut. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, I'm gonna do a little mix because it looks like all the stuff stuck at the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually that looks like the coffee. It looks more like coffee now. Okay, let's do another test. I mean, I'm not getting anything but coffee from that. Nothing. There's, there might be a hint of vanilla. There's definitely zero coconut in that. That's just a really strong iced coffee, can't lie. Anyway, um, now I'm gonna go get my car cleaned. So a little life hack for you. My car insurance was due a renewal and instead of just letting it auto renew with my current provider, um, which was gonna be a little bit more expensive, I ended up going back on confused.com, found a better deal and swapped over. And because I went with confused.com, they offered me some, some like a choice of some vouchers. So I either got 20 pounds Domino's voucher, 20 pounds Lidl voucher, 20 pounds something else voucher, which I can't remember what it was, or they gave me a year's worth of this IMO car washing vouchers, which I was like, a year's worth of free car washes that sounds really good so as you can see i'm currently getting my car cleaned because it worked they've given i just used the voucher and they said yeah all's well so they're currently giving me a free triple foam which i should have looked oh here it is should be six quid so they've given me essentially 70 pounds worth of free car washes for the year rob was like why don't you just get a domino's gotta think smart my guy gotta think smart be one of the most like scariest experiences in the world I've never used these car washes and I've remembered why because it's actually slightly scary <laughs> imagine you left your window open mess hot mess although it's the fastest car wash that I've ever done and the cheapest so I'm definitely gonna keep coming oh shit do I need to go now I don't know. Oh, I don't think I was meant to drive off yet. Oops, it's not dried the back of my car, but it's fine. Well, that was a 10 out of 10 experience. Actually, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because please tell me why I was struggling so much with the concept of leaving my car in neutral and letting it roll. Like the guy was like, why are you not moving? And I was like, I don't know. He was like, ma'am, you need to take your car out of park please take your car out of parking. And I was like, he definitely wasn't American at all. But that was just very confusing. So I was like, why is my car not moving? And then I was thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna crash. This is just embarrassing. One time I come to get my car cleaned, I'm gonna crash my car. <laughs> but it was actually very pleasant. Now I'm gonna head to B&Q, try and grab some molding if they've got some. Head home, unpack everything. I've got some work to do. I've got a YouTube video to upload. Oh, the YouTube video from, um, I was editing it yesterday. It was when, I was telling everyone that we got our house and I was crying all over again. I cried so much in that video and I was crying again last night. Um, so that's, I'm so excited to put that up. I'm desperate to put it up. I think I'm gonna put it up tonight. And then I've got to do some work, send stuff to the solicitors and accountants, print some forms off, endless forms, but very exciting. I'm taking my friends to go see the house. I'm taking my friends to go see the house at half four today um, because they didn't get to see it and I just feel like they need to see the house because um, they live in the area anyway so I really want them to come see it I'm not going to be sharing it with you guys I know I'm a horrible person I know I'm so nosy I would want to see but the reason is because I don't want to I don't want to jinx it I feel like it's maybe 
bad luck and also I want to do like a proper house tour for you when we get in I want to share the day that we move in I want you to be like on that journey with us so I want to I want to hold it all in but I do promise that I'm gonna do a house tour of our current house furnished and then another one unfurnished if you want because I've had some comments on Instagram and over here saying like can we get an updated house tour because it's been a while since I did one I don't think I've ever done a full house tour I've never done a full house tour so you just have to cross your fingers that we're gonna get our house in the next few months let's all sit and manifest together that Rob and I are going to get our dream home everything's gonna go smoothly and to plan and that we've got hella content for the next year year and a half two years who knows how long these things take but how excited so so bloody excited